What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today Bungie just revealed a brand new gameplay trailer for the upcoming Lightfall expansion for Destiny 2 during the Game Awards 2022 event. So in this video we're going to be picking apart that trailer frame by frame to see what we can learn, and so let's get started. First off, we see a shot of Neo Muna. This advanced city was previously hidden within the depths of Neptune and it's going to be the location we go within Lightfall. Then we see a hunter running with uh, some sweet new weaponry here looks like a fusion rifle in their hands they're kind of charging up a hand or a hand is charging and then we actually see this hunter jump and then kind of do a crazy almost assassin's creed like backflip i guess that's why they did the crossover that's in the game right now now normally you'd see something like this and be like all right they're doing this for the trailer. You can't actually do this in game. But we then see the hunter slam down into the ground with an AOE attack. And now I'm thinking, wait a minute, this is probably a feature of this brand new strand subclass for the hunter. We've had uh, with stasis, shatter dive, and this looks pretty similar, just this strand version of it. And when this hunter hits the ground, you may initially think, oh, it kills the enemies around it. It just does a lot of damage. No, if you slow down the footage, you'll see that these enemies aren't actually killed so much as they're suspended in air. And you'll see them actually stuck there in the next scene of the trailer when the hunter is now running forward. So similar to stasis where freezing an enemy can disable them, preventing them from attacking you back. It seems like strand will have similar features to that. Now this hunter is running forward with a heavy grenade launcher it looks like and then we get some first person gameplay very interestingly and i had to watch this a few times to make sure it wasn't crazy if you see this hunter shoot the shot and when you see the shot hit look very carefully it appears like that shot is now rolling forward just like a wave frame grenade launcher but we obviously here have a multi-shot heavy grenade launcher is there now going to be heavy wave frames it, it could actually be that, so that's actually pretty sweet. After that, we have some super sick snipes on some PvE enemies. I pop off on Acolyte heads all the time. Wish I could do that in PvP, but here we are. Then we see a different weapon being focused here, uh, potentially something uh, like a pulse rifle here, and it does appear to be that uh, within the next frame, but almost does look like a two-hit burst. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing. But what happens next is extremely interesting. We see the Titan in the front is actually an arc subclass with Thunder Crash, and they launch off doing their Thunder Crash shenanigans, and the Hunter actually does the Strand Lasso ability on this Titan and gets yeeted into the air behind this ally Titan. That is actually insane. Because previously within the trailers, they were just kind of lassoing onto uh, either elements of the environment and sometimes just midair to get some more swings around. But the fact that you can lasso onto a moving object, another player, just opens the possibilities for shenanigans massively. Like, what if you throw stuff? What if I throw a grenade? Can I strand lasso onto a moving grenade or a, a rocket if I'm really, really accurate with it? Whew, again, the possibilities. What about someone's sparrow? I can strand lasso onto a sparrow. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's awesome, though. In any event, we actually see the lasso ability used right after on an enemy, so potentially you get two charges of this thing on the hunter. Moving on from there, we then see some more awesome strand gameplay. Uh, very interestingly, I want you to watch this Titan. It seems like they put down a barricade, right? That's the same animation for putting down a barricade, but then the barricade appears and strand energy comes flying out to hit this group of enemies. So potentially that is a new like aspect or ability of the Strand Titan is actually having an offensive capability within your barricade. That's very neat. After that, we have some good old Drake tank gameplay, gonna be in one level of the campaign and never used again. And then uh, we have a much better view of all of those suspended enemies with the use of Strand. Perhaps the Hunter did that slam down ability, perhaps something else got them like this, but again, like suspended in mid air, like an even more annoying freeze effect. 
Oh boy, PvPers just shuddered when I said that. But after that, we actually see uh, the Warlock utilizing their rift ability and seemingly like killing all these enemies like perhaps like detonating them letting them go i'm not exactly sure what happened there after that we get a view of the brand new enemy type that was uh, first revealed in the initial trailer and to deal with these guys you kind of have to treat them somewhat similar to Rahulk which they're definitely inspired by by shooting the glowing parts of their shoulders before actually being able to dispatch them Next up, we get a little montage of all three of the classes utilizing Strand, so I think it's a great time to go over what these three subclasses are. Firstly, you have the Warlock Architect. Architects effortlessly manipulate the weave using only their mind. From the backline, these telekinetic sorcerers can even twist Strand into sentient creatures to do their bidding. After that, you have the Hunter Threadrunner. Masters of movement, speed, and grace, the city is a Threadrunner's playground as they grasp threads and weave new ones to dart through the air, finding the fastest way between two points. And lastly, you have the Titan Tyrant. Untamed and wild, tyrants tear at Strand to manifest claws. They use these to sever their targets from the weave. Leaping into harm's way with wild abandon, the line no one crosses is drawn by a tyrant. And in the very next scene of the trailer, you see exactly that happening. This kind of looks like Spectral Blades for the Titan, which is crazy. Next up, you see the Hunter utilizing their super, and just take a look at this radius. Like, if this animation is actually the damage radius of the super, that is extremely large. That's crazy. And then lastly, we see the Warlock uh, shooting their uh, Strand ability and, yeah, just hitting a few enemies. And then we get a little glimpse of a cutscene here of a Guardian's ship. Perhaps it's Amanda Holiday's ship. It looks familiar. Fighting a bunch of giant Cabal ships, it looks like, in space. And of course, that makes sense as Cabal are featured within this new expansion. Moving on from there, you actually then see the native people of Neptune, right? And they are going to have different abilities and so on. I uh, don't think they're going to be a playable character or anything, but we have seen these guys quite a few times. This one's flying through Silver Surfer style of uh, this city. And we have a little montage to end it. The one interesting part is this Titan uh, utilizing what appears to be like a shoulder charge ability through some cover through something. Potentially you're going to have some destructible environments within uh, this new location, possibly. And then we have what appears to be like an execution with this new enemy unit just absolutely destroying this guy. Uh, that's going to be me and Grandmasters for sure when this season launches. And we have a little bit of witness stuff right here. I don't know. Bife can explain this one, but uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I will say at the very end here, as you can see, the Hunter and the Titan both are definitely holding what appear to be um, some exotic weapons, and that is very cool. And of course, we have the information right there. Guys, that is it for the trailer breakdown. What do you think? Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.